my channel my name is Nisha and today this is gonna be a quick video I'm just gonna show you how I make this little sweater well it's not a little sweater because the sweater is so sweet and important to me but I'm gonna make a Chandler sweater because Chandler passed away from friends and people that know me personally know that friends and Martin are my favorite shows like in the whole wide world I can talk to them I can act with them girl I can name them shows frontwards and backwards so I did make this little purse. This will be on my website. This is not cute. I'm almost finished with it. I just gotta make the magnets and put my label on it. So I'm gonna make a sweater to match that. So let's just do that real quick. So this will be a quick one. We're gonna start off with this white sweater. This is what we're gonna work with. And I have this pink vinyl to match my purse. This I wrote out friends. I wrote it out in the font, the Gabriel Wise. That is the name. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's the name of the friend's font. Okay. And then I went and got some pictures of Chandler off of Google. I got the same amount of pictures as letters in the word friends. Okay. Now each letter will be doubled because one of them is going to be for the face and one of them is going to be for the offset. So it don't matter which one you do first, but just go ahead and offset it. So... We can go ahead and double it, and then we're gonna offset the double. Apply the offset will be pink. So I'm gonna just leave that one alone for now. So I'm gonna grab the first picture, any picture, don't matter. So we're just gonna move that to the side for right now. And I'll make this bigger just so I can see it better. And then I'm going to put this picture in the inside of this F. But I'm going to move that F to the front so I can see it. So I'm just going to arrange it to the front. And I just want to really make sure I get his face in it. But And it does have to cover the entire letter. So let's resize that picture. Not the F. But the picture. I just want to make sure I got his face on it. And then I'm going to slice it out. So I'm just going to move all that, delete it. I'm going to keep that with the picture. And I'm going to delete this rest. So this is what I'm left with. So now I'm going to take these two. I'm going to go ahead and align that. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna slice that out because I really just want the inside of that F gone. So I'm gonna delete that one and delete the inside of that one. So what I'm left with now is this F and this picture. So this picture is technically gonna go right inside that F. So I just have to make sure it's a good size. So that's what I came up with. So I'm literally gonna do that with every picture and every letter.
All right, now we have all of our letters filled in. Now it's time to see how long we want the letters to go across the front of the shirt. So let's go ahead and measure each letter. So I say around 11 and taking into consideration that there will be space in between each letters. So they're not gonna just be like touching each other. I mean, you can have it like that, but I'm gonna put a little space in between mine. So I say each letter, since there's seven letters of friends, that's about two inches. So it'll be like 14. No, so we say one and a half. Let's do one and a half, just be on the safe side. So I'm gonna just go to each letter, make sure that they not pass 1.5. As far as length, I'm thinking about two. So I'm gonna arrange each letter 1.5 going across and about two going down. Maybe, let's see. It's too long work. You know what, I think I kinda want to three. Cause we're gonna be able to see his face. So we'll see how 3.5. See how that looks, 3.5. Keep getting bigger and bigger. Make sure the letters don't look too funny looking. So if we do 3.5, let's move this over here. It. See, yeah, it's gonna be too funny. So, we might have to do the two inches. So, two inches going across, 2.93 for this one, going down. So, each letter just gotta look, look good next to each other. So, they kind of gotta match the length, 2.93. So just go through each letter and size them up. And I did group these pictures together just so moving them around to be easier. And I think that looks pretty good. So let's see how long we got it all. 12.72, okay, that's not too bad. So now we're gonna go ahead and print those. They're gonna be on dark transfer paper. Even though we're using a white sweater, I still like using dark transfer paper. Works way better to me. So the pink will be vinyl and then the paper will be paper. The pictures will be paper. Okay, y'all, this is how the prints came out. I think they look pretty good. The color will brighten up once we do the heat press. So now let's go ahead and do the vinyl. While that vinyl's cutting, we're gonna go ahead and remove this sheet from the letters. Instead of doing one by one, I usually take the main sheet off. Sometimes they don't cut good. So, just gotta be a little gentle with them. And we're left with the letters. Now the fun part, we need letters out. I already cut them. So now let's just weed them. You gotta make sure you're weeding the right part too. Because you want each letter to be like this. Okay? So careful. 
I'm going to take out the wrong part in the letter. Make sure you look at it first. All of the letters are done. Now it's time to measure them on the shirt. And then he pressed them on. So now I'm doing is layering all the letters on top of the offset. And I'm about to heat press it on. So I'm kind of being lazy. It's late at night. So by me putting that heat to it, it's just kind of sticking to the shirt a little bit. So when I put that Teflon sheet on top, it doesn't move at all. So it was just a little trick I learned. So just kind of make my letters a little flatter to the sweater. I'm gonna do it for a couple of seconds, for a few seconds. So now I'm gonna put my tap on sheet on top and press it down. And this is how my friend's sweater came out with Chandler face on it. Hey y'all, this is how the sweater came out. So cute, right? The Chandler sweater, the Chandler friend sweater. And this is the bag that I made to go with it. It's a heart bag and it will be on my website at likeapparel.com. And once again, my name is Nisha. For those of you who don't follow me, follow me. Like, what are you waiting on? I create stuff every other day. I don't do anything but craft, okay? So don't forget to click the bell notification so you will be notified when I do post which is like two times a week, but maybe more sometimes. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye.